Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to episode number three of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Uh, once again, just like last episode, I've got to say a huge thank you to you guys. Episode one's doing amazing. Episode two absolutely banged yesterday. Thank you so much for your support on the start of this series. Let's keep it going. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. There are loads of you that are new to the channel. So hello and welcome. And let's get stuck in to to today's episode shall we so if you followed the last couple you know where we're at in terms of our squad we've got like our very very much like a starter french side we've got a couple of players that are were cost a couple of k you know like we've moved away from just having all non-rares to maybe a couple of decent players like uh Alwar and Moussa Dembele and stuff um so it was time for me to try and actually turn some of the money that I had left into more money so that we can progress further. So the route that I went down was to pick one player. Now the player I chose was Rafa. Now Rafa is someone that a few people have been using in SBCs for like the advanced hybrid league and nations SBCs. So uh, th th that would be my advice to you is to go out and choose a player that, that works for that. You know, maybe you have a look at the websites and see what people are using squad wise for SBCs. And then focus on one player and then just try and get them for cheaper. So I could tell that I I knew instantly that I could sell this Rafa for 2.9k. That's what he's been going for because people are using him for SBCs. And as you can see, I went and sniped a few. My, my parameters were literally like 2k maximum. So I wouldn't make that much per Rafa. But sometimes I would get him for 1500. I even got one for 750 or something. So the profit was there to be made. <clears throat> and we were able to turn... 6,000 coins into like a lot more than that in, in not not a huge amount of time. It didn't take that long at all. Uh, I was probably just going, going at that for like 30 to 45 minutes or something. Just, you know, making sure I was buying them, trying to list them up, trying to flip them on for a little bit of profit. It's the simplest of trading techniques. I'm not a trading wizard, but hey, every now and again, you can see a page full on the transfer list that I've managed to sell for profit. So that works for me. Uh, and that has literally, <clears throat> I mean, if we started with 10k, uh, we're up to 16, we're up to 19 right now. So we've nearly, we've we've at least tripled our money uh, and some, so nearly even quadrupled our money, which is actually really quite good. <clears throat> so next up on my list was that I wanted to complete marquee matchups. I wanted to get that done. Uh, so I knew that I had the two more expensive parts of it left to do. The Milan versus Inter and the Chelsea versus Liverpool. This Chelsea Liverpool SBC gives you a pretty decent pack, by the way. So uh, you can just take a, look, a rough look at what I've done here to complete my squad. Uh, and I've basically gone with some Prem on the left. Uh, and then actually on the right hand side, there's a lot of like silvers and a lot of English players and, and just things to get enough chemistry. Um, even a couple of Scottish players in there and, and as you can see we were able to <clears throat> meet the requirements and, and from that we complete that SBC giving us a jumbo premium gold pack so a 15k pack as opposed to a 7.5k pack which we've been getting quite a lot of lately and from this 15k pack uh, we are actually going to get boards I'm pretty sure yes French goalkeeper uh, from Saint Etienne which is gonna be uh, Ruffier who is a very familiar player we've packed him loads in previous FIFAs and I'm pretty sure they haven't changed his, di uh, not his dynamic image, his regular image for a while. So uh, he looks exactly the same as, uh, as previous FIFAs. But take a look at that pack. We get Ruffier, Marco Asensio, and also Quincy Promes. So what a pack that was. That, that's actually, uh, I'm buzzing about that. There's a Hawk chemistry style in there as well. That's a really, really decent pack to get. Uh, because, I mean, I'm going to keep the 84 Ruffier for now. He's not going to sell for much, uh, but he will at some point in time. There's no doubt about it whereas Asensio has a price right now uh, of around 4.2k is what I ended up selling him for buzzing about that uh, and then or 4.1k I just undercut the market a little bit and that final Rafa sold by the way um, so we're at 20,000 coins with an Asensio to sell uh, with Quincy Promes in the club and also uh, Ruffier in the club as well as, as well as a few other gold players and gold items that we got from that pack so that was that was awesome. Now, uh, in my head at the time, I thought that the Milan derby part of the marquee matchups was super expensive. So I decided to leave that on the back burner. But we will complete it literally in a couple of minutes. Uh, and I decided it was time to go online. I wanted to go into my first division rivals match with this French team just to see 
how we fare, how we fare up against other people, uh, what sort of teams are out there, you know. Um, so I went in, had a little look at my custom tactics, adjusted them ever so slightly. You can pause and have a look at what I've done there, uh, but it's pretty much what I was using last year, apart from I'm actually trying the 4-1-2-1-2 out for now, uh, as opposed to the 4-2-3-1. Um, and this game we go into, our very first Div Rivals match, uh, we come up against a really solid Premier League squad. Uh, he's got Player of the Month, Timu Puki. Uh, who, that card design is awesome, by the way. And he's someone that we could potentially get on the road to glory. Uh, but I was just holding out because I don't know if you guys saw that the, the MLS or some someone like that tweeted... Uh, about the, the the player of the month, um, Martinez, that's going to be coming out at some point. <clears throat> now, he looks filthy. He looks very, very good. So I was like kind of hanging on to maybe not doing Pookie in case I wanted to do that Martinez. Uh, I could probably end up doing them both. There's, there's going to be a lot of time to do that. Pookie's out for an entire month uh, and will be super cheap when the full game is out. There's no doubt about it. Everyone's going to have him. Um, <clears throat> so there's no rush. <laughs> for me to get him. I, I really don't necessarily need him right now. Uh, especially with the team that we've got. He wouldn't even fit, would he? So, we eventually actually go 1-0 down in our very first online match. Now, I'd started quite well and had a couple of shots. So, I felt a little bit hard done by. However, Pogba knocks it into Augustine. Who knocks it into uh, Moussa Dembele. Who scores my first online goal of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Now, I thought he was left-footed and I, I was trying this entire match to use his left foot. I don't know why I've got it stuck in my head that Moussa Dembele is left-footed. Uh, but I had a little look at his player bio afterwards and um, he's right-footed. So I probably shouldn't have been doing that. And he's only got a three-star weak foot. So how we actually scored that goal uh, is beyond me. But anyway, we, we smashed the bar after a really nice bit of play. Uh, and I realise it's this little one-two that gets me back and past that defender, which is the... <clears throat> the useful thing. That's the technique which I'm going to be able to get past those defenders. The through balls past the, the centre-backs. Uh, if you've got quick strikers, they're going to be the ones which just take them take them away from the defenders, get clean through on goal. I mean, that's, that's a super unfortunate goal for my opponent to concede. Uh, and that would really annoy me. Especially if it was in like the weekend league or something. Uh, I would be uh, super, super annoyed. So uh, his inform Aurea actually scores him an own goal there to put me 2-1 up. And then Puki uh, takes a shot on goal, scores it, but it was offside. So uh, I'm actually 2-1 up after going 1-0 down. So we're holding the lead right now. And at halftime, I decided to switch out Augustine for Quincy Promes, who's made his way to my bench because um, <clears throat> there's no doubt about it. Promes is going to be a pretty cool, overpowered little player. Uh, definitely want to use him now that we've got him in our club uh, before we sell him or whatever anyway. So let's let's use him. Now, <laughs> I go into the start of the second half and I, can uh, I concede straight away. Uh, <clears throat> it's just the, the way it is. He got through. I, I really suck at the defending on this. Uh, so my, my goals are going to be to outscore my opponents as opposed to playing really de well defensively because I just do kind of suck at that uh, and how I didn't score that opportunity right there absolutely fully and utterly beyond me I hit the red time shot with Pogba and then um like Van Dyke or someone got in the way uh, of the rebound shot. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't just a, an automatic goal. But we do play the ball through here. And in the 77th minute, we actually get the 3-2 winner uh, with Paul Pogba. Uh, so my lone Pogba doing absolute work for us and getting in and hitting that little finesse shot over and past the goalkeeper. Just looped it round him. Uh, and we come away with a victory in our very first online game against a squad that was arguably much better than mine as well. So uh, really happy with how we've played there. Of course... I've, I've played a little bit of Ultimate Team, uh, FIFA 20 Ultimate Team at like capture event and, and stuff like that. So uh, it may, maybe it wasn't exactly my very, very first online game. But for the road to glory, it most certainly was. So uh, yeah, happy to come away with a victory there. Um, and we got 300 coins for playing a, a, a rivals match or whatever it was. So that's one out of five... Uh, the, of the matches you have to do to get qualified in rivals for it to to choose exactly where which division it's going to put you in uh so yeah we, we've done that now i think what i'm doing next here is going to be probably completing oh no it's not look what i did here so this has changed now uh because i've seen it now Havertz, i managed to snipe one for 10k when his maximum price was 10k so we've got ourselves a pretty cool investment here because as you guys know if you've been following the market literally last 
last night, they adjusted his price range to a maximum of 100,000 coins. Now, that's not to say that he's going to cost 100k, but I think he's going to be more than the 10k that we paid for him, or that I just paid for him. So I think that's potential profit there to be made in future, uh, and I'm really glad I did that. I'm really glad I spent a few minutes trying to snipe him, and actually the first one that popped up for me, I was actually able to get. Um, so that was lucky. It was very, very lucky, because uh, people have been sniping him like craziness. So I was obviously quick on the sticks and managed to get myself a Kai Havert. That's our biggest signing so far of the RTG. I, I don't know whether to, to use him in a team or I don't know whether to like sell him on for profit. Or I'm going to have to wait until his price settles a little bit because I do think he's going to be a desirable player that lots of people are going to want. Um, you can see here just how much I've paid and how many first owner cards I've used to complete the Milan versus Inter part, the final piece of the puzzle for marquee matchups. Uh, so that's now done. Brilliant. That's the first marquee matchups out of the way. Uh, some of the packs that we've had even up to, to now, the Chelsea, Liverpool and, what, uh, and stuff, have been really good. So I would say that this is a... Uh, a very good first marquee matchups and if you can do it just from opening little objective packs here and there and stuff like that make sure you get it done because we all love the chance to open a pack because within a pack you can get decent rewards now right now during ea access uh there's not like that there's quite a lot of people with quite a lot of coins however not as many as what there's going to be when the game like fully hits the streets uh in a few days time so Someone like Wesley, who we just packed there, is actually worth a pretty penny right now because he's an early Premier League player, so I can sell him for a couple thousand coins. Uh, and then luckily in the next pack, again, we get Jimenez from Wolves. So it's not a massive pool, but it's going to be one that nets us a couple K, uh, as well as, you know, uh, I mean, that's a, that's a lovely pack to get, right? A 25K pack for marquee matchups, tradable players, lots of gold players just coming into our team, um, all for like some silvers and, and bronzes and a couple of golds that we've used to actually submit. So, uh, yeah, I'd say we've definitely come away with profit from marquee matchups, uh, and we're now sitting in a pretty good spot. So, the next thing I wanted to do, I wanted to tackle this One Nation midfield SBC, and I decided that England was the best route to go down, uh, just because there's four main English leagues, and then, of course, there's a lot of English players in, like, the Irish League, the... Uh, the Scottish League. I actually bought one from like the Danish League or something or the Swedish League. I can't remember what it was. Uh, but yeah, like we got it done in the end. I paid a little bit more than I wanted to for it. Um, but we got that particular SBC done uh, and it gave us a premium gold pack. So I'm happy about that. What could we get from the premium gold pack though? I've spent a thousand or two coins on this SBC. So I need to get something half decent. And it turns out we ended up getting a pretty good one. We ended up getting Florenzi from Roma, which is like a... 5,000 coin right back right now, so absolutely buzzing with that once again, you know, that, that means that we're going to profit from that little SBC, so things are looking good, you know, I know there's people out there, and maybe you're one of them, maybe some of you are, are, are lucky enough to have packed like an Mbappe from Marquee Matchups, or a Dybala I've seen in my Twitter mentions and stuff, like, congrats and GG's to you, I'm totally happy right now, we've taken the odd 2k player, the odd 5k player, that will do me nicely, as long as I can profit from these SBCs, I'm having a blast um literally that, that, that's that, that that's all i need right now and that's how we're going to progress through the through the road to glory so league of nations basics we got completed giving us a mixed players pack and i think uh that ends up uh completing one of the foundation SBCs. yes yeah, so we're going to end up with a couple packs here because actually uh doing that completed the uh squad building challenges part of the foundation's objectives giving us uh, not only a three common gold players pack, but the overall reward for that one, which was a premium gold pack. So getting those couple of SBCs done has ended up giving us like three or four packs to open in total. So there's, a, again, a chance now for us to get even more stuff into our club. So you guys are getting the hang of it by now, right? I, I reckon there's quite a lot of you that have put you're 10 hours in already, or, or uh, and then you're way ahead of me. But maybe some of you are waiting for the Road to Glory episodes every day to follow along. If so, um, this is going to be one where, uh, after you've watched this video, you want to go and find that player. I wouldn't necessarily use Rafa, the player that I was using to, uh, to trade with. Go and find a different player, someone that you know, is maybe a little bit low-key, a little bit pe uh, that people aren't necessarily looking at, uh, but is popular enough that people are using them in SBCs and try and snipe them for good money, just to flip them for profit. Uh, and uh, yeah, like... That, that's all I can really suggest for the for the trading methods right now. That That's what's been working for me. I always find that at the very start of a FIFA, 
literally just taking one particular player. There are so many lazy people out there that when they open their packs, they just list everything for minimum because they want to get slightly more than discard. Um but they want to get rid of them. They want to get as many coins as they can so they can go and buy their Prem team. If that's the case, you're the one on the market sniping that player for when they list it for cheap and you're going to sell him for his actual full market potential and make the coins that that lazy person could have made but didn't. So, uh, yeah, that's basically where, where we're at. Uh, we've, we've done a little bit of that today. Um, we've locked in a Kai Havertz, which at the end of this episode, uh, I didn't know that his price cap had gone up. So, like... This was recorded just before that all happened, so uh, that that's left me now knowing that he's got a 100k price cap. We're, we're really, really happy that uh, I'm assuming people are going to be listing him and flooding the market with Havertz, but maybe give it a couple of weeks. Maybe we'll use him in a squad or something, um, and then uh, I'm assuming that by the first like weekend league or something, he's going to be a desirable player that sells for a fair bit. Uh, I hope so. Anyway, that's that's the plan. So uh, uh, I'm guessing we're going to make a little bit of money on him. Hopefully. Um but yeah, that is going to wrap things up for today's episode. Uh, the team actually hasn't changed in this one. But don't forget, we have brought Havertz in. We have actually got like 20,000 coins or so at our disposal. We've done a lot of SBCs. We've had a lot of reward packs. And uh, we've made a lot just from simply flipping players and trading and stuff. So investments, trading, all of that sort of stuff has been done today. Feel free to go back through this video and watch it again. If you are struggling with some of the stuff that we're doing or you want to learn a little bit more if you've been flicking through and you missed the part where I was trading or whatever. Uh, make sure you smash a like on the video. They've been doing absolutely insanely lately. So if you can just hit that thumbs up button again. Keep this hype train going. I'd greatly appreciate it. Follow me on social media. My Twitter, my Instagram. Those links are down below in the description. Most importantly, I hope you all have a lovely day. And I will catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace.